Okay, so welcome to our third day of the postdoc talks. And our first talk is by Emmanuel Le Couturier from Beijing, and he will tell us about Eisenstein ideals, a link between arithmetic and geometry. Thank you for the invitation. Um, so today I want to talk about some conjectures made by Omiya Sharifi about a decade ago. So let K be a number field, which in this, in this talk would be mainly Q or QI. Um, and so the philosophy behind uh, these conjectures of Sharfi is a relation between uh, the geometry of um, GL2 over K modulo from S. Stein ideal and uh, the arithmetic of GL1 over K. So um, such a relation is not surprising, at least since uh, the work of Ribet on the converse to Herbon theorem. Uh, but what is more interesting is that this map is something fairly explicit. Uh, so, uh, so today I will describe both sides and, 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 and explain what the math is, mainly in the case k equals q, and if I have some time, I will sketch uh, uh, the map for k equals qi. So let's start with the arithmetic side. Um, so here, the arithmetic side would be k2 of or 1 over n. So let me explain the notation. So here, f will be some abelian extension of k. So it means it's, it's, a, it's an extension of k, which is Galois. Uh, and the Galois group is an abelian group. Um, so n would be some in positive integer. k2, this is the second algebraic k2 as defined by Quillen. Um, um, so, well, uh, Quillen defines a K2 of any commutative ring, but um, so it's fairly complicated in general, uh, but for a number of fields, uh, we have some understanding of it. Uh, so for instance, um, K2 of F itself, um, by the famous theorem of Matsumoto, this is just F star tensor itself, uh, modulo some relations, X tensor one minus X. Um, uh, equals zero, okay. Um, and so if, if X and Y are, are, um, are elements of F star, you can denote by X, Y, uh, the image of X tensor Y in K2 uh, via this isomorphism. And this is called the Steinberg symbol. Um, um, and you have the Steinberg relations x1 minus x equals zero. So, um, so we have this description of K2 of F. And uh, now, uh, what about uh, K2 of, of the ring of integer or n integers? Um, so you may expect that you, you similarly you have a Steinberg. Uh, symbols and you have a similar description, but in fact, it's not obvious uh, in general. Um, so, um, so if X and Y are in OF one over N star, you still have some Steinberg symbols in the K2. Uh, but uh, we do not know whether they generate the K2 or not. Um, Okay, in, in some sense, Sharpe's conjecture provides information about this question, uh, positive information. Um, it says in some, in some cases, it will generate the K2. Uh, so how do we describe this K2? Well, uh, we have the functorial map uh, 
was given by the inclusion um, inside the K2 of F. So we understand K2 of F uh, using Matsumoto theorem. And then uh, the, there is a result that this map is injective and, and we understand perfectly the co-kernel. Uh, it's given by the residue map. Uh, so the sum for the prime ideal dividing N of O, o F mod P star. Uh, so P is prime. Okay, so, and, and this, this map is called the, resi the residue map and it's completely explicit. So this gives you a, a, con a concrete description of, of, the, of the arithmetic side but this does not tell you how to compute it. Um, so in the case K equals Q, um, the, the field F would be the cyclotomic field Q zeta M, um, where zeta N is a primitive entry root of unity. Um, and so, so we want to understand this K2 of Z zeta N, one over M. And inside it, we have some special Steinberg symbols of the from Y minus zeta N C, Y minus zeta N D or some integers C and D. And um, so that's, that's it for the, for the arithmetic side for K equals Q. Um, um, yeah, let, let me tell you for K equals QI. So for K equals QI, uh, F would be, uh, would be the ray class field of conductor M. So that's the analog of the, of the cyclotomic field for Q. Uh, that's an abelian extension of K um, with some properties. Okay, so that's, that's it for the, for the arithmetic side um, uh, of Schreifer's conjectures. Now let's describe the geometric side um, for K equals Q first. Um, so geometric side. Uh, so, okay, K equals Q. So let H2 be the upper half, uh, half plane. Um, uh, and H2 star be the completed upper half plane. So this is just H2 union P1 of Q. So you add the projective line over Q. And there's an action of, by Mobius transformation of, of PSL2Z. Uh, well, Z, well, A, B, C, D, Z equals A, Z plus B over C, Z plus D. And, um, and so if gamma is any finite index subgroup of PSL to Z, um, then you can consider uh, the modular curve X gamma, which is gamma modulo completed upper half plane. So it's a compact Riemann surface. Okay, and um, so for us, um, uh, the geometric side um, of the story would be, well, we should maybe say the topological side. It, it, it's, it's, it's the first homology of X gamma with respect to some, some set, which is a set of the cusps. So the cusps is a finite subset of X gamma given by the orbit of P1 of Q. Um, so, um, in fact, we can completely describe this homology group uh, using a finite presentation due to Manin. So Manin um, gave a finite presentation, an explicit finite presentation of this H1. So he, he just uses some triangulation of X gamma by translates of the hyperbolic triangle 0, 1, infinity which is not quite a fundamental domain for PSL to Z. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a copy of three. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a union of three copies of, of, of some fundamental domain, uh, something like that. Uh, so here you have rho equals E i pi over three, and you have three copies. And so using this triangulation, so it deduces a presentation. So let me directly give the results in the case we are interested in. So, uh, let M be an integer, so, so, 
So we we'll let gamma equals gamma one n. So it's the usual congruent subgroup of matrices which are unipotent mod n. Um, um, and um, um, then, okay, let me describe uh, the presentation of, of the homology. So, um, so the Manin generators of H1, X1N, these are symbols of the form CD where C and D are in Z mod NZ. And also we have some condition, uh, the GCD of CDN is one. And uh, the Manin relations, well, I can write in, them down explicitly, um, are, given, are given by CD plus, um, what is it? it it's uh, D minus C plus D, right? N plus minus C plus D C. And also, since so that's a three terms relation, you also have some two terms relation. Um, that's all. So you have two kinds of relations. Um, okay, so now Sharfi, uh, based on this presentation, he considered the following map, um, var pi from the homology um, to the K2 we are interested in um, with coefficient in ZP. Okay, so P is an auxiliary prime Um, so it would be important to fix some auxiliary prime. And um, so here, uh, there is a plus here. So you have a, an action of some complex conjugation on both sides and you take the plus part for the complex conjugations. Uh, th that's quite important. Um, and so the map is just sends uh, Manin symbols to the following Steinberg symbols. Um, one minus zeta and C, one minus zeta and D. And now uh, the, the fact is that um, VARPA is well-defined. Um, namely, it satisfies this Manin relations, and this is, well, this is an easy fact. You just play with the Steinberg relations and, and cyclotomic units. Um, now the conjecture of Sharifi, um, well, I'm, I'm, roughly speaking, is that some, under some assumptions uh, on N and P, um, um, uh, then uh, Varpa induces an isomorphism uh, between the homology modulo some as a Stein ideal to the K2. Um, Right, so I don't have time to define exactly what an Eisenstein ideal is, but that's where well, you have some Hecker algebra, which is a commutative ring which acts on this homology, and inside that you have some ideal which kills certain Eisenstein series. Um, and well, um, so that's roughly speaking the conjecture, and uh, this kind of map was not considered in classical Iwazawa theory, but um, it was more like the, the reverse map from the K2 to the H1, which, which was considered in some sense. So that's something which goes beyond uh, Iwazawa theory. And um, there, there has been some progress on that uh, by Fukaya, Kato, Ota, and I think Sharifi Venkatesh uh, in a forthcoming work. Um, okay, in, th in the last one or two minutes, let me briefly um, tell you how, how you can could generalize that to some to QI. Okay, so if K equals QI, um, and then, uh, okay, so the arithmetic size is just the K2 of the ray class field, right? And so that's, that's the arithmetic size, the geometric side, so this is a homology of some Bianchi manifold. Um, so some Bianchi threefold, some quotient of the Herber half space. Um, and you also have like Cremona Manin uh, generators in this case, because QI is Euclidean. Um, uh, CD, so C and D are in OK mod M. 
Um, and the map, the analog of the map of Sharifi would be something from H1 to X1N, CZP to the K2 of OKN, one over N, with coefficients in ZP, uh, which would send some Cremona symbol CD to some Steinberg product um, um, like that. So epsilon here is, is, what, is, is what we call some elliptic units. Um, so that's the analog of cyclotomic units. Uh, and um, so, so that's, that's the map. Uh, then you may conjecture its factors through some Essenstein ideal and it induces some isomorphism. And there, are, there, there has been some numerical computations uh, in this direction. Uh, but just let me mention that uh, the fact that VARPA is well defined, um, so namely that it, it satisfies the analog of the Manin relations, uh, is not something easy because you cannot just play with elliptic units in the same way you could play with cyclotomic units. Uh, but so, uh, so, so the fact that it's well defined is a recent result by myself and, and, and Jun Wong. Uh, but we cannot prove uh, it factors through the Essenstein ideal for the money. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Any questions for the speaker? Maybe I'll ask you in this last. Uh, does this last result also apply to other um, imaginary quadratic fields where you have a Euclidean algorithm? Uh, yes, I think for QI square root of three, but I believe that's, that's only two fields we can do for the moment. Um, um, no, yeah, uh, yeah, all for the moment. Any other questions? I know, this is a good question, but is there some kind of conceptual reason why you would have a map like that? No, that, that's a good point. In fact, I would expect you have a map like that for, like even for imaginary to quadratic field with higher class number, where you don't have the, this kind of explicit presentation of the homology, but still, still I would expect you have such a map, um, which relates, maybe even in level one, which relates the homology to the K2 of the Hilbert class field. Uh, but another approach is needed, maybe using special values of L functions. So it's just sort of by observing that the relations in the groups correspond to the cyber relations in the Sorry, I didn't hear clearly. Sorry? Sorry, the, the question was, it, the, the, this just comes from observing that the relations in the group uh, match with the Steinberg relations. Uh, well, yes, for cyclotomic units, yes, um, indeed, yes. Um, yeah, that's, that's not obvious in general. Okay, let's thank the speaker again. <laughs>